Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. Today, as you can already see by the title, we are going to look into the newly dropped recent player, Pattern Mutator. I don't even know if I'm saying that right again. Pattern Mutator! <laughs> Pattern Mutator! And I know I'm late, guys. Because... Life is just so weird sometimes. <laughs> you have to imagine, because it's really crucial for my business to check my emails on a daily basis, I do this quick thing in the morning where I just fly over my emails and see if there's something really important that I have to get into today, right now, before anything. Except of one day, which was my birthday. November 24th. And because I got my musician friends together to go jam at the beach, I must have been so excited that I skipped doing exactly that in the morning. But obviously. Obviously. On that day, and I'm not kidding you guys, I received three sponsoring request emails and one ambassador call from Reason Studios. Every time Recent Studios drops something new, us ambassadors get the opportunity to check it out beforehand, meaning before the release date. But therefore, you have to check your emails. <laughs> but better later than never, let's take a look at Pattern Mutator and see what it has to give. Alrighty almighty, let's get into it. Since we are speaking of a MIDI device, the first thing you obviously want to do is open a MIDI device. Here we have our beautiful processed piano and I got a pretty nice sound out of it, like this. Pre -A. After you have your MIDI device set the way you like it, you attach your beautiful pattern mutator. So we will come to this section in a second. Let's get to this pattern section first. As you can see, we have here eight patterns on which you can save one of these mutations because we are gonna create a pattern and then mutate it. And whichever variation you like, you can save on this pattern with this button. Save it to pattern one, two, three, four, five. So that explains this here, which as you can now imagine, gives us way more creativity and variations. So in order to create a pattern, we get to this section here. First of all, you wanna run this whole situation like this. Then you can record and you will see in a second how this fills in when you record. I suggest playing on click. So I'm going to play in the sequencer a click track. And now we can already start recording chords or single notes, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to click record and for now I'm just going to play one note so you can see how this fills up here. As you can see that it's completely a little bit off click, right? First of all, you can move stuff around here as you can see, but that's not going to really help us at this moment. But what is going to help us, let's clear this pattern here is to step record. As you can see, this little step window is off. And you can see we have a 16th rate up here. That's why the steps are divided into 16th rates. Now we're gonna just play the same note again and hit step record and watch what happens. I hit record, first playing one note. As you can see, two notes. And let's just go six more, one, two. See what happens? As you can see, it filled up all the eight notes here that we played. Now watch, if we hit record again and hit this button, see how we add more space? Or delete more space? Now, we already created a pattern, not a special one, but that's why we have, first of all, this section here and the mutation section. Now, when we click mutate, it goes over to our little mutation area here. So now when we play it, it's still the same. If we change the pitch, octave pitch here, and we hit mutate, see what happens? Now, if we put the swap up, mutate. Now, if we put the density up, meaning it's going to be less notes in this circle, as you can see. <laughs> I 
we can manipulate the note length, mutate. And lastly, as you can see, the velocity. So that's our custom mutation that we can make here. But there's also already built-in mutation patterns. Like, for example, bass chords repatch, one of my favorite ones. Listen to this. And mutate. And mutate again. As you can see, every time I hit mutate, this pattern changes here. That's why it's a pattern mutator. So let's go back a little bit like this. Let's find something that sounds cool. Mutate. Ooh. I like that one. I like that one. So now we can save that here, as you can see, to pattern number one. Let's save that. Boom. Now, if we go to pattern number two, we can save something else here. Let's click mutate again. Let's save something else here. Mutate. And obviously you can change this here to, let's say, let's make a big difference so you can see a fourth of notes. Watch this. As you can see, it changed to a fourth length notes rather than 16th length notes. Jesus. Here, a shuffle. Let's go to a lot. Global. And you saw what happened. But let's turn it off. Stay on 16th. 16ths. For the sake of it, we're just going to save this to number two now. So as you can see, if I switch to number one, boom, we have the old pattern, the first one that we created, and here the second one that create, we created. Boom, 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 boom. So we can switch as we play. Boop, 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 boop. Now, our MIDI function right here. That here is pretty cool. Let's play this again and watch what happens when I have this button here clicked to sequencer and when I trigger my MIDI keyboard. See this? See this? The reason why I showed you my hands is because, as you might just saw, I hit another note on my MIDI keyboard, which defies the key that this whole thing is being played in, which translates to this little window. Now, if I click sequencer and key, I can still change the key on my MIDI keyboard over there, but it will always jump back to the original key, just like that. And it comes back to the original key. Now, when we switch to key, I like this one a lot, this happens. I love that. You can basically switch the key and it will always give you the pattern from the beginning just like a sample. That's why. Let's record something real quick. As you can see, I recorded this and played it like a sample. That is so awesome. So, when you click scale velocity, let's unclick transpose for this, then what you trigger with your MIDI keyboard or MIDI device is the scale velocity. So, or soft, or hard. Isn't that flipping nice? I like that, I like it, I like it. And as you can see, you can also trigger both at the same time. Now, that's basically almost it. Another thing you can do is send this whole thing to track. 
but therefore we have to put it onto the mutation pad over here. Then from here on, we can send it to the track. Boom, let's do that so you can see. Now it's in the track. And just so you know, that was a little bit confusing to me in the beginning. Every time you send your pattern to the track, it will now trigger the bypass function, which is obviously a good thing because if you hit play on the sequencer, you don't want everything to play at the same time, meaning the pattern mutator and the sequencer at the same time. But then when you go back, you're like, why is it not working no more? Why is it not working no more? Until you figure out, oh! <laughs> Oh, that's what's up. The last thing I want to show you is this direct record button right here. So now when I hit record, see, it records right into this. Boom, it recorded right into the sequencer. So a couple of things more here and there, but that's roughly it. The most important things have been addressed. I think that's a cool little device. I actually also tried that with my sampler, meaning I played a real sample from my piano and then exported this as a WAV file or WAV file and then triggered it in my sampler as a sample, which then makes it a MIDI device, which then is also workable with our pattern mutator. All right, I hope you have as much fun as I have with this little thing. Let's get to the outro. That's it everyone. That was interesting. Cool little player right there. As usual, if you have any questions or ideas, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> and don't forget to check out the links. There's awesome stuff to discover. We still have the beat maker merch in the building, including hoodies and t-shirts and mugs. Also on beautiful merch as well. Jingle bells. And as always, much love to everyone. Stay focused and have a blessed now. Mwah.